everybody. So I'm trying something a little bit different. I know that not all of you, in fact, the vast majority of you do not follow me on Instagram. That's okay, but easily rectified. Um, there's an I that's gonna pop up right there. If you do feel like following me on Instagram, click that I, it'll take you right to where you can subscribe. We have a lot of fun there. I do Instagram Live all the time. And something I do very often, almost daily, is post outfit pictures. And I know a lot of you have been asking for outfit of the day videos. Moving forward, I figured out how to do this. Um, so that will happen. But in the meantime, I'm trying something that I see done on blogs all the time. I haven't seen it really done in a video. And that's a blog post called Instagram, I'm doing my air quotes, Instagram lately, where they do a roundup in their blog of posts they've recently done on Instagram for people who don't follow them on Instagram. So with that in mind, I'm doing the YouTube version. So the one I'm looking at here, which should pop up over there, is um, from a recent Nordstrom haul. There's a lot of Nordstrom hauling going on here, just warning you in advance. Um, and I was wearing my Chelsea 28 um, sweater and it's very sheer on the top. So what I chose to wear was one of those Fruit of the Loom like half camis. You could wear a full cami under that. Um, and if you do that, you could definitely wear like a white bra. I know not many people wear white bras these days, but it'll it'll kind of fit right in with the sweater. Um, I have it in an extra small, I believe. And then I'm wearing, I think, I think of them as like gaucho pants, but they're cropped, flared um, jeans, basically. Also from Chelsea 28. And it's a really funky material. Um, it's not soft, soft like denim. It's more crisp. It's like a dressy jean. And I'm wearing my new Tory Burch espadrilles, which are really comfortable. But what I did to make sure they were extra comfortable is I had Nordstrom roll them and kind of break them in for me at the store, which is free. And they will do that to shoes you didn't even buy there. So I have like a whole bag of shoes I'm bringing over in the next week or so. And I am sporting my new favorite um, saddlebag. I believe that's the Kelly saddlebag from Gigi New York. Um, and my Fiesta earrings. I love those earrings. Those are, of course, of course, from Bobble Bar. And um, the outfit is definitely, I wore it for an evening type event, like a little cocktail party type, like casual cocktail party. And what I love is that the dark denim dresses it up, but the whole outfit was super comfortable. Next outfit here, awkward pose number 507. I am literally standing in my front yard in my garden bed, sinking into the dirt. Just a little background behind that. Um, and hoping the wind doesn't blow me away. And with that, I paired, I'm wearing one of my new Nordstrom tops. Um, it has the tied cold shoulder, but the sleeves are tied at the side, which are really fun. And honestly, the bra under that, again, we're back to those Fruit of the Loom things. I love them. That one's in black. And I paired it with my Target joggers, which I got a year or two ago, and now they're back in store, which makes me very happy. And I am wearing um, my Dolce Vita like slide black heeled sandals, which are super comfy. The top of them are suede and so they're really soft and all the little perforated holes kind of just make it a little more stretchy and that much more comfortable. And I am hauling my big old Parker satchel um, from GG New York. I um, went a little crazy with the colors. I'm wearing my sandbar earrings. Um, they come in different colors. If you don't like all that neon, there are other options, but I, I like it to just add a little extra color to an outfit. Okay, this is, if I had like a go-to kind of outfit in the cooler months for me, not like freezing cold, but cooler, this is it. Um, ignore Jake, I don't know where his outfit is from. They're all, it's like he's wearing a fraternity t-shirt, I think, and some sport shorts from Ole Miss. But I am wearing, um, that is actually a utility jacket that is no longer available. That one is from Old Navy, but I have seen almost identical versions at Target and Gap. Um, I will link the less expensive option I can find for you um, uh, in the description box. And then under that, I am wearing another really, oh, I forgot I have that top. I think I'm gonna wear it today. Um, I'm, I'm traveling after this video and I want something comfy to wear in the car. So this is a like a flutter sleeve, um, kind of distressed, not distressed, but soft black top. And it's that kind of like modal fabric. It's from Loft. I think it's on sale now. Their stuff is always on sale, which is what I like about Loft. And it has a little tassels too um, along the neck. And of course I'm wearing, I think I just need to buy several pairs of these because I keep wearing the same pair over and over. <clears throat> They're the cut from the cloth um, Mia toothpick skinny jeans. If you keep wearing them without washing them, they will stretch. But once you wash them, throw them in the dryer, they will regain their shape right away. I, you can't see my shoes, but I'm wearing my Vince Camuto open toe booties with those that I think are now on clearance. Okay, this is my favorite picture because um, there's some backstory here. Michael had come with me to go shopping at Loft. Basically, he just sat and watched 
golf channel on his phone while I tried stuff on. And he was kind of getting fed up with all of it. And we were going back to the car. And I said, oh, I kind of, I think I like this outfit. I think someone might like to see this. Could you please take a picture of me? And he's like, seriously? So we are literally standing right in front of the car and he's just like, click, click, click. So this outfit, I just, I feel like I'm channeling my inner Yolanda from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because she always wore white pants. Um, I just, I don't know. And it was a really good hair day. I still don't know what I did, but my hair was just working. I am wearing a chambray top that I picked up from Loft actually, and it is so comfortable. And I'm wearing it actually an extra small. So I wanted it not oversized. I wanted to be able to wear it closer to the body and be able to tuck it in like I'm doing so here. I'm wearing the cut from the cloth. Um, I think it's the Catherine boyfriend jean. There's, they're white jeans. There's a little bit of distressing. Um, I just cuffed them and I'm wearing them with my Tory Burch espadrilles again. Those are gonna get a lot of wear. I just, I feel very Californian in this picture. And my key sunglasses. I don't know if that exact pink mirror thing is still around, but I know the sunglasses are still available. Okay, this picture, the story behind it, this is one of the shirts that I picked up in my little shopping trip from the last picture. So um, the same sunglasses, the earrings, there is a totally long story behind the earrings, but in a nutshell, one of the bloggers that um, I've been in contact with on Facebook and then I got to meet in person at the Reward Style Conference is one little mama. Her real name is Kylie Nichols. And she and her husband have um, their own jewelry line called Nichols and Suede, or Nickel and Suede. And they make leather and suede earrings and other jewelry items. But the reason these earrings are so cool is because they're huge. But because they're leather, they feel like air. Like you will forget you have them on and they have metallic. Just, I will link her below. It's not an affiliate link, but go check her, her store out. They have a really nice philosophy. They're wonderful people. If you want to support a small business, this is the one to support. They're great. Now, as to the top, I um, I love Loft. Do not get me wrong. If my clothes aren't from Nordstrom, they're from Loft or Target. But um, Loft totally lies on their sizing. I'm fine with it. We like to call it vanity sizing. I picked that term up from Aaron at Busby Style because I am wearing a petite extra extra small shirt. Let's face it. I am not an extra, extra small petite, but you know what? If the shirt fits, I'll buy it. So I am wearing that with, what am I wearing that with? Oh, my notorious strapless bra underneath, which was actually quite comfortable. And then, um, I'm actually wearing, um, hand-me-downs. <laughs> Those jeans are from Erin. She gave them to me. They're too big for her. They fit me. And they're from J brand. And they are on the pricey side, but they are like magic jeans and they made my thighs look slimmer than they actually are. So they're more expensive than what I normally would pay for a jean, but having experienced the slimming effect of J brand, might have to spring for a few more pairs. Again, my Dolce Vita slides. This is a fun picture because um, this was for an event at Carolina Herrera um, that my friend Ari, who is a blogger and also on Instagram, I'll link her below. She was hosting it in um, conjunction with a charity launch that day. It's actually two pieces. It's a top and a, sh and a pair of shorts. And you, you know, I liked the short set concept. It's like wearing a suit almost, but not. And um, of course you don't have to wear both pieces together. In hindsight, I was not aware that the top came in a petite. I would have gone with a petite and made it a little less boxy, but it's quite comfortable the way it is. It looks good paired with, it will look good paired with jeans or a solid bottom of some kind. The, the shorts, the same thing. You can pair it with a fun t-shirt and make it really casual. And paired with it are my new, um, you saw these a ton in the reward style conference wrap up, but the Sam Edelman Yarrow sandals. And then I'm wearing a um, purse from Gigi New York, shocker. I think it's a Katie bag. That neon pink was a limited edition color. They still have the bag in a million other colors. There's a rose tone that's out right now that is really, really pretty. And then this, this necklace I featured in my April favorites, I think. It's new from Bobble Bar very neon and I love a chartreuse kind of neon yellow paired with navy. I just love that color combination. I love a sweatshirt and a pair of jeans. Like it's just how I roll, but I dressed it up a little bit with um, my Vince Camuto open toed booties. You could throw on a pair of sneakers and really make it, you know, casual Sunday, but I was going to brunch with Michael. So I wanted to dress it up a little bit. And, um, so the Ole Miss sweatshirt I'm wearing is available and I will link that. And what's awesome about it that you cannot see is it has pockets. 
Um, it's not a hoodie, it has pockets. Um, if you're not into that, I can link some sweatshirts that I know of that have pockets that don't say Ole Miss across the front. Why you would not want to wear an Ole Miss t-shirt sweatshirt is beyond me. But I think the star of that picture is the new bag that Gigi New York was very kind to send to me. It's the gray satchel, and I think it's the color is called Oyster. It's light gray, and it is awesome. You see that tassel? That's an outer pocket. It holds my cell phone, my big old iPhone 7 Plus. It has pockets on the inside. It can be a crossbody. It can be a shoulder bag. It can be the cute little under the arm crook thing. I love it. And lastly, my favorite picture, which may have already gone up by the time this video goes up, this dress you all love. Like, I love it. I actually bought another one in green. And um, this is that socialite um, tank dress that has the pockets. It's like 30 bucks, 34, something like that. I got the green one on sale for 22. It's so comfortable, but I decided you can wear it. Like I showed it in my original video when I hauled it at Nordstrom, I wore it with, with my slip on sneakers, but here I tried to dress it up a little bit. So I threw on a cargo vest from Target. Um, so yeah, real dressy. And then again, open toe booties um, and my gray satchel. I love these. I actually bought these, they're from Bobble Bar, but I found them in a store in um, a little boutique in Oxford, Mississippi called Cicada, which if you're ever down there, amazing store. What I love to do is mix like more expensive things like my shoes with less expensive things. One of my favorite outfits of all time, I wore it years ago, it was a dress from Target um, paired with a pair of Christian Louboutin heels. And I got more compliments on the $25 dress than the shoes. So you just, it's just, I love, I love doing that. I hope that you enjoyed this format um, going forward. I may do some Instagram lately wrap ups on here. I will also try to do just straight up outfit of the day videos if I can remember to actually film the outfit when I have it on. It's a lot easier just hold the camera up, snap it and move on with the day. But you know, I could probably just hit record. The, just the quality isn't gonna be exactly the same. But anyway, I hope you like this. Let me know in the comments below. I can do this once a month or so. Um, and that's a way for you to see how I incorporate the stuff into my daily life. I know you catch a little bit of in the vlogs, but I don't do like a whole outfit shot in the vlogs. I'm usually just holding my camera like this so you see me pretty much like this from here up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.